beaten, robbed, and thrown in a trunk. A violent attack on a man who says he was targeted by crooks. It's a story you'll see only on Channel 2 News at 6 o'clock tonight. That man was forced into the trunk of his own car. And that's when this nightmare began. Two gunmen terrorizing him. One even pulled the trigger, but the gun jammed. This scary ordeal, including how the man escaped, is only on 2 tonight. Our Phil Archer live with the story. Phil? Yeah, this may have been a hate crime. That man was minding his own business when he stopped by here to visit a friend Tuesday afternoon and was attacked by two men he'd never seen before in broad daylight. De La Monte Heard was threatened with a gun, beaten and robbed, and still has the scars to prove it. He'd just gotten out of his car to visit a friend when two men walked up behind him in the parking lot. One of them had a gun. He forced Heard into the trunk of his own car and drove off. When the car stopped a few minutes later at an intersection, Heard pulled the emergency latch inside. So that's when I raised up out of the trunk and I was screaming for help. The man with the gun yelled for Heard to get out of the trunk, but he couldn't. And he told me to get out, but when I was trying to get out of the trunk, he was trying to drive off, so it was either I fall out of the car or I get back in. I didn't want to fall on my face. They drove a short distance, stopped again, and this time both Heard and the gunman got out. And when I was getting out of the car, that's when he got out of the car and he was, that's when he hit me in the head three times with the gun. Hit me here, in my ear, and on top of my head. Heard fought back. As the gunman rushed to get behind the wheel, Heard ran to the passenger door and pulled it open. At that point, his assailant dropped the pistol. And then that's when I ended up picking the gun up, and I tried to shoot at him, but the gun was jammed. The robber drove off in his car, attempting to run him down as he did. Police found it abandoned in Pasadena two days later. Heard's credit cards, cash, and phone were gone. Heard is openly transsexual. He's not sure if that's the reason he was targeted. I don't know. And honestly, I can't say because I don't know the guy. So I don't know if it was a hate crime. I don't know if I was a target. I don't know. But he does know he'd like to see the man who left him battered and scarred behind bars. The gunman and his accomplice still at large. Police asking anyone with information to call Houston Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.